Welcome back to our channel. In this video, let us see the solution for rotate image. Given an n by n 2D matrix representing an image, rotate the image by 90 degrees in clockwise direction directly, that is without using another 2D matrix. For example, consider the input of 3 by 3 2D matrix. Here the first row becomes the last column and last row becomes the first column is our intended output. So we will achieve this in just two steps. Step one is first row is moved to the last row and last row is moved to first row. This is based on reversing the matrix. In the second step that is last step the first row is moved to the first column and the last row of step 1 is moved to the last column and the middle row is moved to the middle column. This is achieved by transposing the matrix. Now without much delay we will see this implementation in Python. Uh, as mentioned this is an optimal solution for a rotate image with two steps. Step 1 being reverse the matrix and step 2 transpose the matrix. I have taken the same matrix example that we saw in our explanation. Let me define a, a function rotate image which shall take matrix as the input parameter. Uh, moving uh, to the solution, first step is to reverse the matrix. So we will call a reverse method applied to our matrix and also uh, we will invoke this function by calling rotate image and pass the matrix as its parameter. Uh, having a print, we can see the results immediately. So uh, at the end of step 1, we got our first row as 781 which is nothing but the last row of the input matrix and similarly First row of input matrix becomes the last row of our output matrix. So we have done the step 1 uh, with reversing uh, method provided by Python. The next step and the last step is the transpose of the reversed matrix. For this we will do a nested for loop for i ranging to the length of matrix and j to the range of i. And here we will do the transpose by uh, swapping the values of matrix i of j from matrix j of i and matrix j of i with the value of matrix i of j. So this does the simple transpose that is rows and columns of the matrix are exchanged. And this transpose is applied on the result of step 1. So this is a very simple method, optimal solution to rotate the image. And we can see now the first row of our input matrix 1, 2, 3 becomes the last element that is last column and the last row becomes the first column. We can test this by providing another um, matrix values. Let me take... Um, 4 by 4 matrix 5, 1, 9, 11, 2, 4, 8, 10, 13, 3, 6, 7, 15, 14, 12, 16 and as such we can execute it and see if the solution is compatible. Uh, we could see that first row 5, 1, 9, 11 of our input matrix becomes the last element which means last column of the resultant matrix and similarly all other rows are moved or transposed to the column starting from the last. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe if you have not already subscribed and share with your friends.